This is Natalie Wood. Maybe you don't recognize her. That's probably because you've never seen her like this before. Can I please be... This is Warren Beatty. He starred on Broadway. This is his first movie role. You won't forget him. I really want you. should be a big help but to me, Dad. I spent my whole life trying to create a place of importance for you in this world. And then you come home and tell me you don't want to go to college. You want to marry someone Dad, in your life. It's what I want to count. This is a love story unlike any other. Its title, Splendor in the Grass. It starts out like this. Whether you live in a Kansas town the way they do, or in a city, or anywhere, it makes no difference. This is the time you'll understand, when suddenly the kissing isn't a kid's game anymore. Suddenly it's wide-eyed, scary, dangerous. This is what famed dramatist William Inge, author of Bus Stop and Picnic, has written about. This is what noted director Ilya Kazan has put on the screen. Warner Brothers calls it Splendor in the Grass. Oh, Bud. Mm. Bud, it's broad daylight. Come here. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Come on now. Bud, people can see us. Bud. Come on. Stop it, Bud. Deanie and Bud, the prettiest girl and the handsomest boy in the high school class. This is their love story. But because love is never simple, there are others, helpful or hurting, friends or intruders, classmates, neighbors, parents, all the others. I want to talk to you. Now, Wilma Dean. You and Bud haven't gone too far already, have you? No, Mother. Tell me the truth, Wilma Dean. No, Mom, we haven't gone too far. I think she's disgraceful. The way she stands there waiting for wait the players. Wait a minute. There isn't any reason in the world why I should speak to her. Well, more than speaking to well, what do you mean? You think I'm supposed to not notice her? Is that what you expect out of me? I'm not even supposed to know girls like that exist, huh? I don't blame anyone, Mother. I raised you the only way I knew how, Deanie. The way my mother raised me, and I suppose the way her mother raised her. I always believed she was right about things. Maybe she wasn't. I loved her. I love you, Mother. I hope so, Dean. This is a love story unlike any other. Splendor in the grass. This is a story about the many aspects of love, about love fulfilled and love denied, and about love's desperate alternatives. This is a love story about a boy and a girl deeply, unredeemably, gloriously, and hopelessly in love. A love story unlike any other. Splendor in the grass.